Hello everybody, my name is Benjisor, and I welcome you to Another Sniper, Episode 2, The Type 88. Well, I wasn't planning on doing this video at this time, especially uh, when I started playing this game. I didn't think this was going to, uh, going to pan out, but it does. I think this is a pretty good example, if you will, of how to use this this weapon, and uh, I'm going to do it. I really wanted to do the VSS next, because that's what most people wanted in the, la in the last video. But I haven't used the VSS in ages, and I've been using this gun like crazy. Uh, I think I have seven gold stars for it now. And at the time I filmed this video, I only had four. So I got 300 kills in a couple days. About a week. Uh, it's not too good, I guess, but whatever. You know. Anyway, uh, a Type 88. Uh, I don't know anything about this gun in the real world, so I'm not going to talk about it terribly in the real world. Uh, terribly much. Terrib I don't know how to put that. I'm not going to talk a lot about it in, in terms of the real world weapon. Uh, but in this game, it is a bolt action. It has 10 rounds. In, oh, yeah, it's the bolt action. Fail. It's a semi auto. Uh, it does have 10 rounds in the magazine, just like the, the SVU. It is identical in stats to the SVU, except for the SVU has a tighter hip spread. Uh, basically, that just means that it. it if you if you could. It, you know what I mean. You don't really mean when I say hip spread. Identical to stats in the, the SVU. I would strongly recommend. All right, the Type 88 has one big downside. That is well, okay, two downsides. It has two downsides. First of all, it is extremely loud. It's very loud. It's a very loud gun. It has a very distinctive sound. It's very loud. People know what it is when they hear it. Uh, and that can get you into some situations, because if somebody hears you uh, shooting it, they're going to know there's a sniper nearby and it's not like an M14 or something, and they're going to be a little more willing to, to rush you. So you have to be aware of your surroundings before you start pulling a trigger. It doesn't always, doesn't always happen, but it's just something to think about if you're going to use this gun. You need to be a little smarter because of it, its noise level. Uh, you don't want to find yourself shooting it off in the middle of an enemy squad. You're not going to survive very long, whereas the SVU, because the silencer, you can survive that encounter because they won't hear you and you won't show up on their map. Next big draw, big uh, downside to this weapon is that it has a tracer effect on the, every bullet you fire. An actual tracer in the sense that you see the, you know, the bullet fly out like a normal tracer. What it does is it leaves a trail of uh, a vapor trail behind each bullet, which essentially does the effect of a tracer, but without actually being a tracer. And the problem with that is, again, if you're in the enemy's team or or close to the enemy, and they see those uh, tra those vapor trails coming out, you know, they can follow it back and know where you are. They may not be able to see you necessarily if you're up, you know, on the floor above them. They know you're there. You probably don't know they're there. And they're going to come after you. They're going to kill you. They're probably going to teabag you, because I've noticed that's what people do when they kill snipers. They think it's something, something worth it. I, I don't know. I don't know. So that's what... Those are the two, si two situations you kind of want to avoid uh, if you're going to choose this, this weapon. Uh, basically, don't find, don't be in the middle of the enemy team. That's all, and, and when you do shoot, make sure you're, you kind of realize that you're going to be shooting those vapor trails and people probably will find you eventually, so you want to try to move around a little bit more. I'm not saying move after every kill, but you want to be a little more willing to, to up and move. Uh, now we'll get to the stats as we wait. Hey, it came up smoothly this time. I, I have the, the weapon damage chart up here on my screen. 
the Type 88S sniper rifle. It has a normal damage output of 39. Again, that's out of uh, of, out of 100 health. And uh, with Magnum ammo, it has a 49. So it goes up 10 power with Magnum ammo. And I'm going to use the rest of these damage numbers with Magnum ammo because that's the setup I use. Uh, because it does make an effect at a, at a point later on, or I'll tell you where it does make an effect. Um. All right, maybe not. Okay, then never mind. I thought it, I just looked at this chart and noticed something I didn't know before. All right, uh, with Magnum ammo at downrange, the gun does 31 damage, which is a four-shot kill. It is still a two-shot headshot. So you can, you know, double tap their skull and they still will die. Um, eh, what else does it say? Three shot close range, four shot at down range, but with or without magnum ammo. And uh, for some reason, I always run magnum ammo when I use this gun. Uh, that's mostly because I tap on myself switching my pistol a lot because I kind of burn through the ammo because I tend to spam a little trigger a little more. But really, you can use whatever you want Is that for that one with these, because same way with the SVU, they both don't benefit from Magnum ammo. Uh, it's more of a sidearm thing, so if you tend to use your pistol a lot, you may want to use Magnum ammo. Uh, it has a 10-round magazine. It has a rate of fire that is... What is that? Um... Eight, excuse me. Uh, eight times that of a bolt action. Yeah, eight times as fast as the bolt action. And we're not going to deal with the rest of that. Uh, reload time is faster than all of the bolt action rifles, which is kind of surprising if you. And it does have a recoil. So yeah. Um, four shot kill, two shot headshot, three shot at close range. Um, I guess that's all you really need to know about the stat wise. Uh, identical to the SVU except for the SVU with a tighter hip spread so you can no scope easier. Uh, now I guess we'll go with the uh, We'll talk about the part of the video now where in terms of in-game uh, traits, attributes, if you will, with the gun. Now, um, unlike the VSS, the SV, the Type 88 has a, a predictable recoil pattern. It moves the same direction after each shot. And you could use that to your advantage. Um, very, this is a very important little thing I'm going to say right now, so hopefully the mic doesn't decide to cut out at all any point or end this, but uh, if you're good enough with, if you put some time into the Type 88 and you learn the recoil patterns and how fast it settles, you can do it where you pull a trigger on the body shot, pull a trigger a second time at the perfect time and get a headshot on that second shot. Uh, and that's a really uh, important thing because if you don't if you don't do that, then it's a four shot. It could potentially be a four shot kill. That's assuming each shot hits. Most likely, you're going to be five five or six shots actually fired to get that four shot those four shots to land. Uh, if you're like me, I tend to pull the trigger faster than I I need to. So um, it's just a unique. It's a little pat. I can't explain it other than tell you, you know, you have to play with the gun, get some trigger time on it, and you learn the, the timing of that settling, and then you can time it so that it settles, and just as it reaches that right point, you pull the trigger a second time, and you get that headshot. And it will kill with one shot to the head after you've damaged them with a body shot first. So it's not like a, an exclusive two-shot headshot, no matter what. You know, if you get a body shot off, it'll kill with the second headshot. Uh, another thing I can think of is uh, whether 
to use whether you want to use the 12x, the regular scope, the ACOG, or the red dot. Uh, I don't have a tremendous amount of success with using the ACOG on this Type 88. I don't know what it is about it. I just can't seem to just can't seem to get it to work. If I want to use the ACOG on the snipe on a semi sniper, I use it on the, S the SVU. Like I said, I don't know why that is. It's just maybe it's just me, like mentally, like I know I don't do that well with it, so it's a self self fulfilling prophecy. But I would steer away from the the uh, ACOG. I personally steer away from the ACOG. It doesn't mean you have to. I, by all means, you know, if you can use it, use it. Uh, and then I my two normal scope setups for this gun are the regular scope and the red dot sight. The reason I use the red dot sight is obviously if I'm going to get close as a faster ADS, it lets me uh, aim faster, like sweep my, my aim faster. Uh, it does have a bit of a problem because when you can't really see the the recoil jump with the ADS with the uh, red dot sight, even though it is jumping, it doesn't really look like it when you're aiming down it, so you can uh, end up shooting too fast, and then you get killed because the guy that you're shooting at doesn't have the recoil issues. Um, and the reason I use the regular scope over the 12 x because this is not a long range gun. You can, uh, I'll say that again, you can use it at long range, but it is difficult because it does not have the one-shot headshot capability. I'm sure in hardcore, where it is a one-shot headshot, it is going to be a it would be a beast of a gun. But in core, which is what I play most of the time, uh, it does not do that one-shot headshot. So I don't use it long range because if you're going against the bolt action sniper at long range, which you will probably will do, be most of the time. You're gonna die unless they are really, really bad, and it's just not really worth engaging at that distance because advantage, and you likely come out the loser. And uh, what's that last thing I was gonna talk about? Oh yeah, the bullet trajectory on this gun. Now keep in mind it's the same as the SVU, and I mentioned that tracer dart, that that old like vapor trail. Now, I, if, I don't know if you've been paying attention to these long-range shots in this in the video, but there's very little bullet drop. I, if you had to compare it, I would compare it to that of an M24 in terms of the actual amount of drop. If the semis and the VSS, they all fly very, very straight. Not laser straight, but straight enough so you don't have to aim for a huge drop, which is good because I think the scopes are pretty bad at aiming for long range shots. That's just me. I can't... <laughs> I, I don't like the, tri the little triangles. They're not lined up right. So if... The, if they're not lined up for, me, for my taste. So, if, you know, people... It would be hard to line up a shot if it dropped a lot, in my opinion. But they don't drop a lot, so you don't have to worry about that. And the last thing I want to cover before this video ends is... Uh, travel time. They travel slower to the target than the bolt actions. Uh, from my experience, I don't know if that's statistically true. You know, I'm sure somebody will, if you know, then make a comment or something. But they seem to travel slower to the target than the bolt actions. So you have to lead your target a little more. Like I said, I don't know if that's true, but you want to try to remember that, that you're, you have to lead your target a little bit more and you're going to be shooting multiple shots, so it may not be the best situation in terms of engaging a moving target at a, at a significant distance. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you learned a little bit about Type 88. I could make another one if you if you need to learn, if you want to learn something more specific, maybe I can try to make another one. Uh, I, w I will be doing the VSS soon, so leave a comment about the next one you want to see other than the VSS. No. Until next time, happy fragging.